Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, I made a, a little video for uh, a self introduction. So I, I will just play that and then talk to you um, in, in four minutes. Okay. It is my pleasure to present to you our first workshop for Projects B coming from Bloomfield University to Athenic University, sponsored by the Office of Student Affairs. I want to give you a short little introduction of Bloomfield University and our students. First of all, Bloomfield University is located in Saitama Prefecture, here just north of Tokyo. But actually, we have three campuses. So our campuses, here is a little bit more about our campuses. You could find in English on the internet. But our newest campus is in Tokyo with about 2,000 students. And our uh, second newest is in Kanagawa Prefecture, just south of Tokyo where Yokohama is. And then our uh, oldest is Koshigaya campus in Saitama, and this is where I'm talking to you today. I have a beautiful view of the cherry blossoms when they bloom, and this is actually my office right there in the very top of this building, okay, where I'm talking from you today. This is Koshigaya, just north of Tokyo, and um, as I said, next to a beautiful river called Moto Anakawa. Unfortunately, there's no cherry blossom here. Two years ago, we had the pleasure of bringing me and four students to Ateneo Dunyanaka University, where we helped, we were warmly greeted and we helped um, teach Filipino students about Japanese culture. We taught them about Japanese music, Japanese writing, and other things about Japan. We also helped a little cleaning beaches and swimming and enjoying ourselves. And we even presented some things at the Orgsfest. We even sang for you. And of course, we made many friends. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we were not able to go back to the Philippines in person. But as an alternative, we have made this platform to introduce to you some uh, a wide variety of Japanese cultures. There are nine presenters today nine presenters in three breakout rooms. So there will be three presentations of 20 minutes a piece. And then we have 10 minutes for question and answer afterwards. At the end, just shortly before uh, 12 o'clock, the breakout rooms will disappear and you will come back to the main room where we will say goodbye. Uh, we are hoping to make some more good friends through this lecture opportunity, and uh, hopefully we will continue this in the future with more volunteers from ADNU and, of course, more students from Bunkyo University. So thank you all for this opportunity, and we will see you later. Goodbye. Okay, uh, that's enough for my self introduction. Uh, can you all see me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I just want to give a, I, I want to take a roll call of our first presenters, make sure everyone is ready. So, uh, Toko, can you say hello? Hello. Okay, good. Uh, Momo? Momo? Hello. Okay, thank you. And Mana? Hi. Okay, good. So 
Um, like I said in this short video, we have three breakout rooms, and all of the present or all of the attendees will be sorted into these rooms automatically. Um, and then there are three presentations in each breakout room, and at the end uh, we'll all come back to this main room. So did I did I get this? Is there anything else to add? Here. Anything else to add? Is, is that okay, Sonny? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, I pass, pass everything back to you, and um, I guess you're going to make the breakout rooms. Right now. Can you see my slide? Yes. 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 Thank you. Uh, my internet connection is bad today, so uh, if you will not hear my voice uh, for my presentation, please tell me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. Uh, Thank you very much for coming to my presentation. Let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Suzuka Sakamoto. Please call me Suzuka. Uh, I am 20 years old and third year of Bunkyo University. My hobby is listening to music and watching Japanese animation. Today, I'd like to tell you about Japanese greetings. Uh, if if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, many people may think the Japanese language is difficult, but don't worry about that. Japanese greetings are easy and simple, so let's learn while having fun. I will tell you greetings along daily life of Japanese people. First, greeting in Japan uh, in the morning. Uh, when we get up and see my family, such as mother and father, we say, Ohayo gozaimasu. Uh, the meaning is same as good morning. Uh, we also say, Ohayo gozaimasu when we see friends or teacher. Ohayo gozaimasu is the basic greeting in Japan. Next, after getting ready to go to school, we leave from the home. When we leave the, from the home to go to school or job, we say ittekimasu to, my fam to our family. The meaning is similar to I'm leaving now. On the other hand, when you are said uh, from someone, you should say uh, as a response. The meaning is similar to good luck. So let's practice. Mm. <laughs> thank you, good. <laughs> hey, thank you. Uh, next. Here is a video which show this situation. So please. Can you image this greeting? So next, I'd like to tell you about greeting in the afternoon. We say konnichiwa as a greeting in the afternoon. The meaning is same 
to uh, same as good afternoon. We say konnichiwa from noon to before the evening. Konnichiwa. Next, konnichiwa, yes. <laughs> Next is greeting at lunch. Before I explain about it, I will tell you Japanese school lunch. <clears throat> in the elementary school or junior high school lunch in Japan, all, all students have to eat same school lunch. In Japan, lunchtime is considered not only a time to feed, but also an opportunity to educate them about food or nutrition. We Japanese grow up to eat school lunch. In my university, Bunkyo University uh, has a cafeteria. There are many kinds of soba, ramen, curry rice, and so on. They are cheap and delicious. If we have any time, uh, I would like to know about your school lunch. But then I will explain greeting at lunchtime. We Japanese say itadakimasu before eating the fruits. We are thankful for the leaves of many kinds of fruit, such as vegetable, fish, cow, chicken, and those fruit took care of the fruit from farming, delivery to cooking because fruit is life. After eating the fruit, we say, Gotsosama. The meaning is of Gotsosama also include various gratitude for food. Next, I will explain greeting when we thank to someone. We say arigato. It means thank you. The way of use this word is same as thank you. The dif different thing is that when we say arigato, we usually take a bow. It is the traditional way of thinking in Japan. Then, when you are said arigato from someone, you say do itashimashite. It means you are welcome. The way of use this word is also same. Now, I will play the song which say arigato five times. The singers are a very famous Japanese idol group, SMAP. So please listen. Did you enjoy to hear it? Next. What? Next greeting is sayonara. It means goodbye. However, sayonara is a formal greeting. So many, many young people say bye-bye to friends um, uh, to friends instead of sayonara. So next is greeting in the evening. Actually, greetings in the evening are simple. First, uh, when we see someone in the evening, we say, konbanwa. The meaning is the same as the good evening. The way of use this word is also saying, konbanwa. Finally, 
the greeting that everyone may say at the end of the day, it is oyasumi. The meaning is the same as good night. Oyasumi means take care. I like this greeting because I like to sleep. So I will show you a video of Japanese greetings. It is a famous in Japan. I think many Japanese people can sing the song. Please listen. I'd like to tell you about love phrase in Japan. It is aishiteru. The meaning is the same as I love you. The meaning, uh, if you have girlfriend or a boyfriend, uh, please tell them aishiteru. Then I will show you a song. Uh, aishiteru is appeared many times in this song. I like this singer. Uh, her name is Chanel. She is famous Japanese singer. Please hear the song. Uh, finally, I'd like to introduce famous Japanese words. I, you may know already, but actually, uh, okay. First is kawaii, it means cute. And otaku, it means geek. Manga, it means comic. Anime, it means animation. Actually, I am anime otaku. So let's move on to question time. Please tell me the Japanese phrase you want to know, or please tell me your favorite Japanese phrase. Hello guys, um, we encourage you to uh, send 
or uh, oh yeah, send questions to our speaker via chat or turning on your um, microphones. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Itadakimas and ohayo. Ah, thank you. <laughs> How do you say you are pretty in Japan? Ah, you are pretty. Mm. Kawaii or it's uh, anata wa kawaii. Anata means you. So anata wa kawaii is means you are pretty. Thank you for your question. What is the Japanese phrase for I'm sorry? I'm sorry is sumimasen. Sumimasen. Yes. Or gomen nasai. Gomen nasai. Which one is okay? Thank you for your question. What if you want to approach for someone? Ah, uh, okay. Gomen nasai. And sumimasen. Thank you for your question. How do you invite someone for a coffee in Japan? Ah. Mm. Invite someone. Mm. Cafe ikanai. <laughs> it is difficult. Ikanai is uh, let's go. So ikanai. Thank you for your question. Is anime a good discussion of normal communication in Japan? Mm. Uh, is anime a good discussion of normal communication? Uh, sorry, I don't understand the deep question. So, um, Japanese animation is famous all over the world. I also like uh, Japanese animation, such as um, Dragon Ball, uh, Gintama, Nanatsu um, no Taizai, you may not know. Um, thank you. How about your handsome? Ah, handsome means kakkoi. Ah, kakkoi. And ikemen. Ikemen is more cooler than kakkoi. I like ikemen. <laughs> okay. Suzuka san, kawaii. Thank you. <laughs> I'm happy. Meliodas, ah, oh, you know, Meliodas, I like Meliodas. Thank you. How about delicious in Japanese? Ah, oishi. Ah, oishi means delicious in Japan. Thank you for your question. Okay. Does anyone have questions? If not, I will finish this presentation. Thank you for listening. Arigato. Thank you. Arigato. Thank you. Yeah. So next is 
構成。Yes, thank you for your presentation, Suzuka. Thank you.、Oh. Sorry. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, hi. Thank you. Ah, Konnichiwa. Or, Ohayo Gozaimas. Or should I say, Majis Afternoon, Ateneo de Nagar University students. It's good to see you all here. I'm Kosei Takahashi. I'm from Bunkyo University studying foreign language. I heard from a Filipino student, Filipino friend, that in the Philippines, you have the long, longest celebration for Christmas in the whole world, starting from September. That's amazing. In Japan, it's just a typical day for us. What's interesting is how we celebrate New Year. Today, I'd like to talk about Japanese Oshogatsu. First, first, I talk about how we decorate our homes for New Year. We have three necessities. The first one is Shimenawa, it marks the scaled place where the goat descended. It is believed that impure things and evil spirits cannot enter the place where the Shimenawa is put up. And it also serves as a kind of protective wall and protection against evil. Shimenawa is mainly hung at the, at the gate or entrance. The second one is Kagami Mochi. Kagami mochi is a kind of typical New Year's decoration and is believed to be inhabited by the god of the year. Kagami mochi also symbolizes the renewal of light and energy that occurs at the start of a new year. The last one is Kadomatsu. Kadomatsu is often placed at the front door. As well as Shimenawa, as a landmark to invite, invite the god of the year into the house. After around the middle of January, Kadomat are bound to appear and release the god. Next, I talk about how, ja how the Japanese spend Oshogatsu on New Year's Eve. We begin various preparations. For the new year, at the end of the new, at the end of the year, after cleaning and decorating the house, relatives gather on New Year's Eve to have a feast and watch the annual television, or have a singing contest. Japanese people go to shrines to pray for the coming of the year of the new year, bring the New Year's bell at temples. And eat New Year's soba, New Year's soba noodles. It is said that if you visit a shrine twice before midnight, your breath, your blessing is will be doubled. In the same way, monks ring the New Year's Eve bell 108 times, with four and nine representing death and suffering, and Eight and nine representing bad luck, which adds up to 108 times. It is said that New Year's Eve Sober is a wish for prolonged life 
and longevity because the soba is long and thin. It also has the meaning of wishing for long lasting family relationships. The next slide about New Year's Day, New Year's Day traditions. In Japan, the first item of the year is said to be very auspicious. So, so many people seek out the first item of the year. Examples are the first sunrise and the first, and the first visit to a, to a temple. The first sunrise on January 1st, the first day on, new, on the new year is considered to be a happy occasion. Therefore, many people visit spots where they can see the first sunrise. Hatsumode is a way of expressing gratitude for the old year and wishing for a good new year. Many people from all over Japan visit the famous shrine here as well. There are also other words such as first dream and first sale. In Oshogatsu, we have two ways of greeting. The first one is go directly to see your relatives. There we talk and eat. The second is a way of using the New Year's card. If your relatives live far away from you, but you are friends, you can use Nengajo to greet them in the new year. For, for the new year's card, you can put up family photo, draw an illustration of the year's zodiac sign, and add the words, Happy New Year. Otoshidama is a kind of pocket money that children look for look forward to the most every year. Kakizome is a time to write down one's goals for the new year with the meaning of changing one's mind. Generally, it is done on January 7th. It is often assigned as homework during the winter vacation of elementary school. And children who write well are sometimes awarded. At this point, I will show you the famous New Year's foods in our country. First, the Osechi dishes. Each of them has specific meaning for health and longevity. All of them are so delicious, but they are different tastes. The first one is Kuromame. Black, this is a uh, black soybeans. Kuromame has the wish to work with good spirits all year round. Mame in Japanese has the meaning of fine and healthy. So working mame, mame ni hataraku in Japanese, has involved into work with energy all year round. The kazunoko, herring roll, is added as one of the fest festive snacks to pray for prosperity of, of the offspring. This is kazukuri or katakuchi iwashi, Japanese anchovy. The name anchovy comes from the fact that in the olden days, anchovies were used as fertilizer and spread on the fields, resulting in a good harvest. Next is tataki gobo or paradoks. That are thing that can take root deep into the earth. The paradox has been considered a lucky food for those who wish to have deep roots and prosperity. Kamaboko is a semicircle of, of the fish paste that resembles the first sunrise on New Year's Day and is regarded as a symbol of sunlight. There are many theories, but it is believed that the red color of Kamaboko has the meaning of happiness 
congratulations and protection from evil. While the white color has a meaning of purity and sanctity. Tatemaki is a Japanese omelet. It plays a role in making the dish look luxurious. And on the other hand, it is added to added to Oseti, Oseti dishes with the hope that it will increase knowledge because of its tatemaki shape, which looks like a scroll. This is Krikinton, made of chestnuts, which have been highly valued by, by many people for their good fortune, looks like a golden treasure, and has become a symbol of wealth. We hope for a prosperous, we hope for a prosperous year as we enjoy the Krikinton. This is Taino Yakimono. <clears throat> Taino Yakimono is a amberjack that is a fish of successive generations whose name changes depending on its size. The name changes as it grows. <clears throat> Majoko, Wakashi, Inada, Arasa, and the most big one is called Yellow Tail. For this reason, it is considered good luck to eat. Ah, it is considered good luck to eat it at the, at the beginning of the year for those who wish to achieve success in life. The red and white namas is used in Osechi as it is congrat congratulatory in color and is similar to the similar to the mizuhiki used in noshi box and noshi paper. It is made of daikon, radish, and car carrots, and like root vegetables. It has a meaning of having strong roots and strengthening the foundation of the house. <laughs> As you can see from the Chinese character used to write Chorogi, Chorogi is a food stuff that is associated with wishes for longevity. This is Suren. Suren has lotus root. Suren has, Suren has lotus root, <coughs> has multiple holes that run vertically straight, straight through it, allowing you to see the future. Since it is possible to see the future and the other side of the world, it is a prayer for, it is a prayer for a year, for a year of bright, bright prospectus, close prospects. Soaking lotus root, in vinegar will keep it clean without discoloration. Finally, I will explain how Oshogatsu ends. During Dondoyaki, we burn the, we burn the items which we decorate our homes. It is to pray for a good harvest, prosperous business, family safety, good health, and prosperity of descendants. It is customary to ban lucky charms such as Kadomatsu and Shimenawa, decorating, decorated during the New Year's holiday. It varies from region to region, but in many areas it is held January 11th. In addition, Kagami Biraki is also performed at the end of the new year. Kagami Biraki is an event in which, in which people eat rice cakes in the Yorishiro, where the new year god stays during the new year to share their spiritual power and wish for good luck for and wish for good luck for that year. It is considered bad luck to cut kagami mochi with a knife. 
So it is eaten by breaking into small pieces with a wooden hammer. In recent years, because it is time consuming to break rice cake at the home, many of them contain rice cakes that are square, square and easy to eat. There are many ways to eat rice cakes and they are all delicious, but I like them best with sweet red beans. Thank you for listening. Do you have any questions? What is your most favorite part of Oshogatsu? Uh, uh, Mm. Uh, I like eating in Oshogatsu, Oshogatsu dishes, uh, osechi and mochi rice cakes. What is the difference between kromame and torogi? Ah, sorry. Kromame is the black beans, and Torogi is the red one. Can you eat kakami mochi, kakami mochi cake, even if it is a decoration? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Rice cakes uh, has mm, the rice cake storage period is long, so we can eat rice cakes after the Oshogatsu period. What is Yorishiro? Uh, Yorishiro means the place where the gods and the gods in. The way. Uh, these traditions. Are these traditional still done in Japan? Yes. Uh, yeah. mm, the traditional event and decorations uh, has been in, inherited from old days. I like eating kromame. Yeah, it's so delicious. Do all a student please use your real name for attend attendance checking purpose? Do all a student please use your real name? From attendant, use real name. Can... Hi. Huh? Yes, uh, these, yeah, these, uh, my traditional event has been inherited from all days. Uh, 
Hello, guys. Is there anything that you would like to ask to our um, speaker? Yes. I have a question. Yeah. Um, you talked about the osechi ryori, the the boxes. Yes, yes. Do you have a? I'm I came in late, so do you have a picture of that? Can you show that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Said, that right. Okay. Books. That is a very elaborate osechi ryori box but how much would that cost do you think it, uh, <laughs> uh, the cheap one is maybe 2000 yen or more or hmm? 2000 yen that it's about but, 20 us dollars yeah but the most that looks to be about a yeah, hundred dollars the right there. Expensive one is I don't know, but maybe ten thousand yen or more. Yeah. My 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 parents, uh, my my wife's parents. We have Osechi Dioni. I think there's probably four or five kinds, maybe. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> nothing like this. Yeah. Most most families don't eat something so nice like this. Yeah, in my in my house, uh, I have like and dislike so. Uh, my house also uh, 10 or more little kinds of foods. Can we borrow this Oseti from Ekiben? Uh, Maybe it's on sale for New Year, but I, I don't know. Yeah. If you don't have any questions, uh, yeah, thank you for your attention. That's all my presentation. Okay, that's all. I think the all of the breakout rooms are finished. So I'll pass everything over to Sunny. Okay. You're back? Yes. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Alec, and everyone. Kumusta po? Lalo na sa lahat ng puyat from last night's uh, earthquakes. I hope that everyone is safe from the earthquakes uh, last night and of course from the ongo ongoing COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And I hope it doesn't come insensitive, ano, but uh, uh, my apologies. May I say that I am pleased that we have been able to uh, push through with this uh, webinar with uh, Bunkyu University as part of the alternative class program as well as the B project um, against all odds, may I say against <laughs> all odds. <laughs> Sir Alec LeMay of uh, Bunky University actually visited uh, Naga City in 2017. <laughs> uh, that was in September, uh, Peña Francia Fiesta, correct, <laughs> Alec? Yes. And we, uh, yes. and from, 
yeah and from then we uh we started brainstorming and refining our ideas uh remotely and uh, until the b project was uh fully conceptualized and launched in 2020 just before the uh, pandemic hit the philippines and we did implement the project here in several naga city and uh, camarines sur communities including the ateneo um, despite the fears and the limitations now our japanese friends came here in the philippines in february last year for the project and i can still recall that they flew out of the country just a day before the country banned international flights <laughs> and, and so we um you we are very fortunate no it was providential i think that uh, we were able to pull everything off meaningfully and uh successfully <laughs> and now, despite the pandemic and other uh, threats, other limitations, um, we have found ways to actually move forward with this uh, meaningful online exchange between the two universities. And we have uh, the opportunities for uh, continued friendship between our students, especially the students of Alec and uh, ADNU volunteers who are also here uh, in this webinar. So uh, on behalf of the Atene de Naga University and the Office of Student Affairs, I would like to thank uh, Bunku University for choosing Ateneo <laughs> and for this chance of uh, international cooperation between our uh, good universities. I hope that uh, we continue to have enough reason, enough reason and uh, the enthusiasm and the ways and platforms to sustain um, what we have started, you know, the, the BEEP project, and mutually benefit from uh, the relationships that we have. I wish that um, our students will have more venues where they can create friendships and understanding and appreciation of each other's uh, cultures. Uh, arigato gozaimasu, especially to the students of Bunkyu University for serving as speakers in the breakout uh, sessions. And why don't we give them a warm round of virtual applause, please? Everyone, palapakan natin ang, ang Bunkyu University students. Well, uh, there is another webinar that Bunkyo University will be giving to ADNU students this year. And uh, if today's participants would like to join that too, <clears throat> that you are most welcome. Now we will announce the details uh, soon. And uh, I also would like to acknowledge the creative uh, and hardworking Ateneo student leaders who assisted our Japanese friends and who are also preparing a webinar for Bunki University students this uh, November. We're excited uh, to do that you know, for, for you, uh, Bunki students. My gratitude goes as well to the ADNU students who attended this uh, particular ACP topic. I hope that uh, you learned um, new things today and uh, that you will continue to be interested in examining and appreciating our own cultures and other cultures as well. Um, this is important as we live, live out the uh, university mission you know, of promoting peace and understanding and engaging uh, with the world. And this is one concrete uh, manifestation of, of that. Uh, all right, at this point, I would like to present a simple token of our gratitude to our Bunkyu University friends, um, allow me to read the citation. Uh, Ateneo Denagi University Office of Student Affairs, in cooperation with the Office of Mission and, uh, and Identity, present this certificate of appreciation to Bunkyo University and to Alec and your students in grateful recognition for your uh, generos generosity for your services as resource speakers, as organizers of uh, 
this particular alternative class program activity, basic Japanese language, and culture workshop held today, October 15, 2021, uh, given this 15th of October at the Ateneo de Naga University, City of Naga, Philippines, signed by yours truly, uh, and uh, as well as Janet Bibadong Badilla, Executive Director for Mission and Identity, Dr. Alfredo C. Fabay, Vice President for Higher Education, and Father Roberto uh, E.N. Rivera of the Society of Jesus, the University President. Once again, thank you so much, uh, Bunky University. Maraming salamat. Uh, arigato gozaimas, Alec, uh, your students, and to all the participating Ateneo Dinaga students and the volunteers that we have for this ACP and uh, B project. All right, that's it, I think, uh, unless we, we still have uh, uh, concluding words from, from Alec and our friends from Bunke University. Alec, do you still um, have anything just for- the, the students in the computer lab, can you stick around for a bit? Because I have to clean clean up the computer lab. <laughs> so I'll, be, I'll be running down. My office is on the seventh floor and the computer lab is on the third. So I have been getting exercise running up and down the stairs all morning. <laughs> anyway, so uh, that, that's all for today. So thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, before uh, we go, for our students, for, for the Atene de Naga students, uh, don't forget to fill out the uh, evaluation form to help us further improve our delivery of the alternative class program we will also give our feedback to our uh, friends uh, at the Bunke University you also need to fill out that form in order for you to receive your certificate of uh, attendance and uh, participation to be given to your respective uh, uh, teachers so that's all uh thank you so much okay arigato mauna mauna na bye 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 everyone thank you pa -alam, pa -alam. thank you thank you okay. so much